that I was devastated. I was heartbroken. Jason Kennedy is currently recovering from his recent surgery, staying at the Seven Oaks General Hospital in Winnipeg. Despite losing his wrong leg to an amputation at Grace Hospital, his spirit remains high, along with his humor. Like, I gotta get upper body strength if I'm gonna be in a wheelchair. Like, I'm hoping for a hovercraft at least. <laughs> like, like, gee whiz, like, uh, somebody invent that, please, I'll be the first one to uh, try it out. On October 23rd, the 48-year-old who has diabetes went to Seven Oaks because he was in pain and his right foot was bleeding. Medical staff determined an amputation was needed due to a previous bone infection he was living with. With the worry that the infection could get worse and enter his bloodstream, the amputation was done on October 31st by a surgeon and medical staff at Winnipeg's Grace Hospital. Like I was the, um, under the impression that they were going to take the leg that had the infection. However, when Kennedy woke up, he realized the wrong leg was amputated. He says it felt like a bad dream. But then he recalled to his teachings he received from his grandparents. Having that, that forgiveness within ourselves and to forgive yourself. And, you know, we, can, we, we can't judge and blame others, you know, for whatever happens in our lives. We leave that up to the Creator. Kennedy says the surgeon at Grace Hospital and two other medical staff apologized for what happened. The surgeon came in and told me he was apologizing and he apologized to me. He said, I'm sorry, I took the wrong foot. Like, gee whiz, I know that you took the wrong foot. And I said, I told him straight out, like I wanted to burst out freaking out at him, but that's not the way we grew up. We grew up with uh, understanding, forgiveness, a critical incident review of what went wrong is now underway by the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority. They say they can't comment due to patient confidentiality. Manitoba's health minister declined an interview request with APTN News but said in a statement, a review is investigating whether racial bias played a role. Yuzama Asaguara, Manitoba's health minister, added, The health and safety of patients in this province is my top priority. I want to extend my sympathies for the patient and their family. This is a heartbreaking situation that no one deserves to go through. The Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs is calling for immediate action and a full and transparent investigation into the incident. They are saying, quote, This tragic error which left Mr. Kennedy in shock and disbelief upon waking from anesthesia highlights ongoing systemic issues within health care delivery to First Nations people. Kennedy, who is a commercial fisherman and was previously homeless in Winnipeg, appreciates all the care and support he has received following the incident, including from Lisa Young, who is chief of Blood Vein First Nation, and his cousin. You know, Jason taught me how to harvest rabbits when we were little and, you know, going through the bush trails and doing all those outdoors t type things. Um, now I know he's not going to be able to do that as freely as he could for um, so just a whole life-changing scenario for him, and it's, it's devastating. It shouldn't have happened. Kennedy is now exploring his legal options and speaking with a lawyer about compensation. Medical staff are also trying to save his right foot with antibiotics so he doesn't lose that leg too. For now, Kennedy hopes his story will bring necessary change within Manitoba's health care system so that an incident like this never happens again. Everybody should be put in place and to know what their, their duties are and uh, what has, has to happen. For ABTN National News, I'm Chris Nashkate in Winnipeg.